Hey guys, welcome to Money Machine. Today I'll be reviewing data annotation.tech. It is another company that gives people the access to work jobs on AI, artificial intelligence, and other types of work. Basically, they look like a competitor for remote acts, but when I look deeply into it, they are, are actually not competitors with remote acts. Basically, for the reasons that remote acts is worldwide, and these guys have decided to select a few countries where they will operate. They operate in US, UK, Canada, Australia, and one other country like that. You can check them from their profile. But basically, this is what I know about data annotation of tech. They pay between $20 to $21, $15 per hour, which is higher than what remote acts pay in some secluded places like the place where I'm from, Nigeria. So if you go to data annotation, you're going to get jobs that will pay you higher than a regular remote tasker. If a remote tasker is not in the well-placed area like United States of America, like Canada, like Kenya, India, that are, that are just pulling it off right now, you know what I'm talking about. You will not get paid as data annotation or tech. One of the differences between data annotation and tech and remote access is the fact that they pay through paper. But let's go straight to data annotation or tech. Now, data annotation or tech does not accept any other country. Even when you use VPN to access them, and then you got to register, you got to, you know, sign in they're going to give you some assessment if you don't use vpn you will not be able to sign sign up but if you use vpn you'll be able to sign up and get into the job so i contacted one of my friends in the united kingdom and said please can you just help me register and get it done she registered and from that time to now there is no good opportunity for her that is to say if you are from the uk canada um uh, australia you may likely have to wait for a very, very, very long time to get added to a tax. Now, for me, myself in Nigeria, I decided to continue. I use the Hola VPN, like I've always said, that is what I use. I use the Hola VPN and get into, created an account and then did the test. They're going to ask me some questions that determine whether I'm going to, whether I'm a racist or I'm not a racist. I got hatred for anybody. But it, those kind of tests are going to bring it on while you're trying to, you know, get the job done. So after the test, if you pass, okay, that's good. You're welcome to tasking. If you do not pass, you're not welcome to tasking. But since I was using VPN, this is what I got after the after I completed the test. And I know I passed because I understood what they were looking for. And they said, thanks for taking the starter assessment. We, If we need, if we have need of your particular skills at the moment, you'll be notified by email. If we don't have need of your particular skills at the moment, we will let you know when you are in March for relevant projects. So that's what they told me after finishing the test and all of that. For some other persons, they were not even given this. They were just said, they were just told they were going to receive an email from them saying, okay, welcome, come and start asking. But this is what I've been noticing for the past one to two weeks right now. So if you are trying to work with data annotation one thing i want to say if you are not from the u.s do not bother but if you are from the u.s is a good one twenty dollars on your system no need to go to work just sit down on your system and make 20 bucks send it to your paper do send it to your paypal account at the end of the week and you get that done but if you are not from the u.s no if you're in the uk canada australia it is another opportunity to make money but you have to be a little patient with it. Maybe this is the same thing that's going to happen. You're going to wait and wait and wait till any time the thing fits to add you to their crowdsourcing. Then if you are from the rest part of the world, I do not advise you to register for data annotation dot tech because it's just going to, you know, waste your precious time. Continue with remote tax. The little peanut you're getting, use that to pay for a, for a skill where you can learn like, um, you can learn data uh, data data uh, analytics you can learn project management you can learn other courses while you are tasking with remote tax that will make you a millionaire or increase your pay sorry that will increase your pay directly 
if you are going to be trying to work from the US, I would advise you to impute all of your skills so that you don't end up, they don't end up saying because of your skills and all of that, that excuse they're giving me right now. So put in all of your skills. And if you want to give it a try from UK, Canada, and Australia, please put in all of your skills. If this is your first time of registering of joining us on this YouTube channel, please subscribe, click on the notification button, and like this video so that other persons can see beautiful content that we are creating right here and our series is coming up soon yeah 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 i know you've waited for so long but this is it this is it this is it remember the story of the dog and the elephant the dog came up and was like hey man it took me two months and few days i got my puppies already you've been pregnant since about a year ago where's yours and the elephant looked at the dog and said Woo! You see, there's a difference between me and you. When my calf learns, we're going to know the difference between the puppies and the calf. So stay tuned. We're going to get in touch soon.